30 minutes of HIIT cardio and body weight training are in store for you. Are you ready? My name is Tyler and I have a 30 minute workout that requires no equipment, just your body weight. We are gonna start off with our warm up. With that, it's gonna take about four minutes long. After that, small breather while I go through the exercise in our interval circuit. That circuit is gonna be three rounds of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and we have four exercises, so 12 minutes total right there. After that, small breather. I'm gonna talk about our next exercises, our floor exercises, which are sets and reps. Still circuit style, still gonna get that, that heart rate going, still get that sweat going, but little different type of stress on the body. Let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna start with our knee pull to ham curl, okay? So knee pull, you're gonna drop that leg straight down and then drag your hands along the backs of your legs. You're gonna do four each side. That's one, drop it down. A little bit of balance, that's two. And with this exercise, that knee pull, it's more of just a, hey, how you doing? To that hip flexor, it doesn't have to be super hard. Just to give a little pull on those hip flexors. That's four for me. After that, we're gonna do a squat hold, okay? So I'm gonna count out five seconds for us, and then after that, we're gonna go right into 10 squats, okay? So set your feet for your squat. Let's bring it down. One, two, three, four, five. Right into your squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Take it down to the floor. We're new bird dogs. And if you follow along with my workouts, you know that we do the bird dogs a little bit differently. Okay, so we're gonna warp the backside of our body, but in a different manner than, than maybe what you do bird dogs. Okay, so setup is key with this one. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reach opposite, but what I'm gonna really focus on is every single motion. I'm gonna push, pull, every single piece, exaggerate, okay? So I'm gonna reach opposite, but I'm gonna push that leg, reach that arm, and push the hand on the ground. And then switch, hold it for about a second. And exaggerate each one, five each side. Really feel that glute. Really push that hand in. Don't forget to breathe. I got one more each side. Oh yeah, great exercise. Whether you're doing in a warm up, core finisher, or maybe a part of a circuit. Let's take it to the top. Knee pull, ham curl. Knee pull, drop it down, drag them. Knee pull, drag them. Small little joke as we're going through, remember, for each side is that I'm really trying to focus on trying to get this one done under 30. I'll admit I've lingered a little in the last probably three exercises. That's a total for me for each side. Squat hold. I'll finish my story after this. Get ready, set your feet for your squat hold. In three, two, one, bring it down. Hold one, two, three, four, five, Sit right, set your feet if you need to, right into your 10 squats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Take it down to the ground. You know the movement for this one, okay? You know to exaggerate each piece of it. I'm gonna take a second to get anybody that needs to catch up but exaggerate each motion. Okay, so do each one with purpose. Finish my story before, wrap it up, is that I'm trying to get it under 30. I've lingered on the 33, 34 minute workout with the dumbbells. This one, we're getting under 30. Let's do a bird dogs. Three, two, one, five each side. And exaggerate, feel that glue. Feel that hand press into the ground.
four, four, five, and five. Awesome. Okay, small breather while I go through the exercises here. Remember, no equipment here. If you need water, if you need a towel, have that ready. So, four exercises. First one, squat, hop, and twist. I'm gonna squat down, hop up, I'm gonna step back, and then rotate into the back. What I always say is imagine you have a med ball and you're chucking it into the, the wall behind you, wherever behind you. Step forward, squat, hop, rotate. Squat, hop, rotate. I want power on that rotation. I want the feet set, or I want you using that trunk there, okay? Pencil jacks are next to do that. A full jumping jack, and then jump after. Jumping jack, and then up. And those are your pencil jacks. Small joke, other times I've included those, I'm pretty sure I've done them wrong. That's okay, you learn and <laughs> revisit them. Bare leg extensions on the ground. Similar position to your bird dogs. Setup is key. Every time we do upper body or core movements in our hip cardio circuit, oh boy. They light it up. So set up, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You come up and you extend each leg with purpose, okay? Just like with the bird dogs, extend them with purpose. Brace that torso, feel the glutes, feel the hammies. Every single muscle working in connection to perform that movement, okay? And then lastly, we're gonna try a new one here. I call it a pivot lunge tap. So I'm gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna tap, tap down, tap down. So it's almost as if I'm picking something up each time. What I will say is just make sure that your feet are set. Yes, if you wanna keep them stationary, you can. I move them while I'm doing it. No wrong answer, okay? What I want you to do is bending down, using those legs, not the back, to pick, to tap the ground, okay? Use your legs, get your range. But if all you have is maybe right here, and you're tapping the back of your calf, all good. As long as you don't pound that back, okay? Let's get ready for this. Whew. Okay, first round here. We're prepped, press play. We're ready to burn, we're ready to work. Three, two, one, let's rock it. One of my faves. Remember what I said, I want that force. Rotate that trunk, and it comes from the ground. How you set your feet. Don't keep count. I just want you working on moving. Set the tone for this whole workout. Focus. Come on. Time. That's a first exercise. Proper pencil jacks here. I don't know if we've done them wrong before. After you look at the workouts. Pencil jacks. Full jumping jack. They come up. Rocket. Jumping jack. Up. Look at that. Already needing a little coordination action. There we go. Jumping jack. Up. That's what we want, right? We want to think through it. Just sprinkled in a little coordination. And I lost my whole movement there. Come on. Use that brain. Come on. There it is. Whew. These bare leg extensions are some of my fave. But I know they're gonna be tough. Time to do done push-ups. Maybe shoulder taps. Whew. Light it up. Let's go. They're not a breather exercise. 
That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Who? There it is. Okay. <sighs> Here we go. New exercise. Pivot. Tap. Keep setting that tone. Let's go. <sighs> Get that range. From your legs. Oh yeah. I used to do a similar exercise. If you've ever done TRX work before, we well, got a back leg suspended. And you're really sinking in to those hips. Whew. They light them up. In time. That's around one. Come on. This is that round where it challenges you. And you say, I showed up. I'm ready for this. And rock. Come on. Don't forget that power. Might start fatiguing. You know too well I need you close. But work your steps. Get those feet planted. <sighs> you try to do that rotation with those feet planted. You might end up falling into another wall. Jack time. Doing these right. And let's go. I'm thinking about each step here. you like about exercise. Use that brain. Come on. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh. Take it down. Oh yeah. Position. Go. Light up that glow. Get those hammies working. Sweat pool starting for me. the most out of it. Whoa, there it is. Let's get our rhythm down. Pivot lunge taps. Use 
those legs. Sink into them. Oh, yeah. Refocus here. Refocus and think. It's time. While we showed up. Round three is where it tests us. Keep that fire. Let's rock. Round three. Level it up. Come on. Work through each each move. Come on. Let's go time to train. Round three. Work it. Look at that. I had to work through the jumping jack. Oh, yeah. Lock it in. One more. Oh, there it is. Whew. Huh. Position and go. Work. Feel fatigue. Come on. Let's go. Work together. Oh. All the way through. Come on. I said it. Those are no joke. Not a rest exercise. <sighs> Last one in the interval here. Work. Come on. Use that brain. Use that focus. Ah, dig. Dig deep. Wide your press play. Ah, think of it. There's that home stretch. You gotta want it. Let it out. Come on. Ah, there it is. Woo. My legs are fatigued because I'll start chopping my steps. Okay, interval circuit done. We're not done yet though. Let's round it out. We've got our floor set. Some basics with our body weight exercises and really hitting that core. So push ups, 10, bare walkouts, 4, V ups, 10, 
toes up crunches, 15, and then swimmers, 12. Like I said, really hitting that core training in a variety of ways, okay? So, small breather if you need it. Meet me on the ground. With the first set, I'm gonna show you the cues that I want you to hit, but after that, round two and three, we keep that rhythm, we keep that pace, and we try to get this done, okay? And under our 30 minute mark. If at any time you fall behind, all good. We're all getting to that same, same end goal there. Just stick with it, take the breathing when you need them, but then get back to it, okay? Let's do our push-ups. I feel like I haven't done push-ups in a while, but as I always do, I'm gonna show the modified version. If you're doing unmodified push-ups, awesome. Rock those, but if you're doing modified, go with me. We start up, we drop those knees straight down, our hands and our elbows, we're gonna come keep them in tight here, okay? And total, our chest and hips come down at the same time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And we do them like that because once we're ready to move to unmodified push ups, you know we're working. We're working that chest and hips at the same time, keeping that flat back. Not letting that butt, that butt push up in the air, okay? Bear walkouts are next. Similar to our plank walkouts that we usually do, where we start in plank position and walk it out. But bear position, just like in the interval circuit, bear position, and we're gonna walk it out, and walk it back in, okay? Four total. Bear position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. Bring it up, walk it out. Hold it, walk it back in. That holds about a second, and then you walk it back in. Woo. Hands lift. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Woo. Okay. V ups on your back. Once you start your V ups, don't let those hands or those legs touch the ground, okay? Meet up in the middle. Let's do it. Two. One. Four. One, five. Six. Seven. One, eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. Toes up crunches. Fifteen. Feet are gonna be straight up in the air. Small movement. Once you start, your hands are to come back down each, each time. Lift from your chin and your chest. Don't crunch on the neck. Reach for those toes as high up. Okay, 15 total. Give me quick. Two, four, five. Oh my. Always the hardest one for me swimmers. 12 totals. I put my hands under my low back and tops of my glutes there. I want my back against the ground. And I want nice, wide swimming motion with the leg. 12 each side. One, two, two, three, three. Six, six, eight, eight, nine. That was 12 each side. With it. Okay. Uh, small breather here. You know the exercises. We're lining it up. Uh, let's finish with style here. With confidence. Oh yeah. Uh, 10 push-ups. If you're still on your modified, awesome. Rock the modified. If not, go with me. Let's do it. 10 total. Okay. The squeegee X. 
Chin here. On the face. Bear walkouts. Okay, position. Up. Rock. And back. to think with that one it's like you're a spring you're loading up that spring and you're firing it out i got sweat flowing v ups once you start you keep rocking that come on 10 total Toes up crunches. Come on. Keep that fire. Keep that intensity up. <sighs> Feet up. 15. Fifteenth one there. Probably not that pretty on camera. Tops of the abs, burning. Swimmers, positioning. Let's do it. Swim it. To all each side. Push through. And what I said, I want that 30 minutes. I think we're gonna be close here. Really close to it. Let's rock it. 10 push ups. Keep that fire. Those small goals here. Toes up. 15. Let's go. Oh, that was 
struggling. Oh, struggle bus on those last few reps. Not pretty. Come on. Push through. 12 swimmers each side. Go. Like I said, I won't know until I edit this. If I hit it, oh, I think we're close. That's that small little motivation there. And you can find it in any workout. If you generate that in your head, that scenario that pushes you, that makes you wanna decrease that rest time, push for those extra reps. And it's all pure. All the mental power. Make sure that you check out all our great brands on Time to Train. You're subscribed to all of our community. We're growing our brands, growing our channels. And we appreciate all the love that we're getting across the board. Thank you for tuning in. Keep showing up, keep working hard. I'll see you in the next one.